so welcome to uh season two episode three of the front row media podcast um i am with a special guest once again um an actual blooming and emanating fashion designer within the local scene um as you guys know by now i only invite people i have genuine interest in, in speaking to <laughs> you know i'm so collected <laughs> so um i'm actually gonna um, allow them to introduce themselves but like a bit of context i've actually spoken to them before i've actually interviewed them before for the frm blog so if you actually actually haven't had a look at that check that out because i think it actually builds the crux of like yeah. their, their story yeah. but the reason why i wanted to get them on the podcast is because they're actually doing newer stuff they're doing fresher stuff and it also signifies growth in like the fashion designers I've profiled before. So I think it's good to to follow up more than anything to yeah. hear what's, what's happening. No, protect Fandro. Protect Fandro. <laughs> Please. Yeah. More than anything, would you mind just introducing yourself? Um, this is Namtla, but I'll allow oh. them to introduce themselves. Um yeah. maybe like um who you are, where you're from, um, and mm-hmm. also like where you are right now and what you do. Mm-hmm. Um, what's up guys? My name is Namsha Tiwani and the pronouns are they, them. Um, I'm from the Eastern Cape, from a place called Ukumbu. Um, it's just a very, very like small, small town. And like also the villages are also also quite like small. So I'm like a very, from a community based. Yeah. Um, yeah, background. Yeah. So yeah, that's just about it. And I, I make clothes. And mm-hmm. I have dreams that keep me up at night and I try to wake <laughs> up and execute. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Real stuff. Um, so interesting. So where are you based like right now? Um, so where am I? Um, right now I'm in Johannesburg. Um, mm-hmm. I'm in the South right now, the South of Johannesburg. Cool. I'm like in between um, the South, the city, which is like your Bromfontein and yeah. like anywhere yeah, but mainly between the South and Jersey. Got you, got you. So basically, like, a same, same, same city, essentially. Um, yeah. I wanted to then find out, like, uh, more about, like, you growing up and your relationship with fashion. Um, mm-hmm. Like, I, because, like, I, I mean, I follow you, right? Um, I follow you, mm-hmm. in, even, not even just FRM, but also in my personal capacity. So, like, um, I see that, like, from like, where you're from in the Eastern Cape, um, mm-hmm. from a proximity perspective, it's like that's also very close to like where I'm from, like in my dad's yeah. house. Yeah. So I wanted to find yeah. out, like, is that where you grew up, or did you grow up in Johannesburg? And when did you start interacting with like fashion? Um, so like I think for the most important, I like to say like for the first part of my life, but like for the most important part of my life, mm. I was in the Eastern Cape. So like grew up in the Eastern Cape, when I started becoming aware yeah, of, like, little things, like, being able to express myself or sort of, like, cross and really take away from the environment that I'm in, I was in oh. the Eastern Cape. And then, fast forward, I have to start school, um, yeah. which is, like, your great one. Oh, well, I never went to Critch. Like, I'm not that kid. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. literally, yeah, I never went to Critch the whole, like, Graduating now nah. yeah. from Chris now, like it's I just came so straight like, to Johannesburg. Intelligent, natural babies like you. Like, <laughs> yeah, I could say that. Yeah, it's Literally. like that. So I'm interested in that. Then where did you get most of your education from? Then like as like like uh huh? yeah like where or where did you? Because you seem like you have a I want like you seem like personally you have like a large lease on life. Like, and uh, it's rare that, you know what I'm saying? So, like, mm-hmm. yeah, like, I'm, I'm interested. Where did it start? Yeah. Um, I'd say mostly because I'm, like, I've realized that, like, I'm a visual learner. Uh-huh. So, I'm not one, I'm not the kid that was, like, reading books. So, like, um, yeah. interested in, like, reading and, like, it becoming a thing. I just yeah. needed to read I didn't like not knowing the language and I didn't like not being able to interact. So I just read okay. because I wanted Hi. to know the language. How real? So, real? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to know the language. And yeah. I could say really I've seen 
my life experiences, I think I've been able to like learn just by seeing like the people around me, like family is very like fashion um, oriented and just people also outside of like home. Like I'm a very observant person. Like I like to observe. So literally from anything, everything I've seen, like it could be me walking to school and Mm. then I see like, somebody by the robots it could be as mundane as that you know yeah. so it's just i'm an observer and i just so happens that also in my observing like i gravitate more towards things that move me like what i will see is what will move me so mm. that's just how i've learned like i see Absolutely. it and then i like it and then yeah i just want to take from that got you got you that's that's real that's real um yeah I think now I want to speak more about like what you do present day, but I also want to ask you about like the mm-hmm. culture and the background element of it, because like mm-hmm. I said, like I, I know like Makundai, like, and I, I and like mm-hmm. now, now, now I want you maybe to explain it from your perspective, but also like explain like the, um, yeah, the culture behind it. Like, like, mm-hmm. and I think that's embedded in the name. That's yeah. Embedded the silhouettes that's sure. your, that's embedded sure. in, in just in generally your story so like um where does the brand fit in like like what's the brand mm-hmm. story and like what's the the mm-hmm. culture story or like the background behind like the 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 brand the brand so yeah. like i said like earlier like i grew up yeah. in a very small like community so yeah. i think that the idea of like community and understanding that like life will move as a collective Mm -hmm. and you are part of the you're part of a collective and a collective came from somewhere so there's an extension of that collective there's an extension of that community so um understanding that like understanding that i'm part of a community i'm part of an elite tribe and there has been people that have been there that contributed to the becoming of this yeah. tribe. Yeah. So when I started being like hyper aware of that, mm-hmm. I then felt like very cool to like be that representation, like wherever I go, like I could be in New York, I yeah. could be in Paris, yeah. um, I still need that to exude. So then I had to think, okay, how do I make it like something tangible? Like how do I make it, give it life somewhere That's outside hard. of, yeah, you know? So mm. then I was like clothing because I've been like, I've been very interested in like clothing and I understand I've seen how clothing for me also as a queer child has become like a way of expression, like a tangible way. Okay, yeah. This is a world because yeah. so I realized, okay, I love clothing and mm. Nancy Media. Yeah. I want to tell the story story through yeah. like fashion and like yeah. clothes and so just like at school being that person that's not um like if we, if we had like artsy projects like choreography like it could be anything like i could i would kill it yeah. you know not that with academics i would have to do it because i don't like not being able to know something but i really enjoyed being able to put together like a project yeah. that say like wait well, like what's so, your- I'm so interested. What's your star sign? Like, you give such Capricorn vibes when it comes to like that kind of stuff because you're literally like, I have, I have that thing. Also, I'm like, I actually don't give a, I don't care. I literally don't, care. I don't care at all. But like, you're not gonna yeah. get one with me. So I'm gonna have yeah. to learn this thing for the sake of man. Yeah, so like you know. I just go at my thing at type. Goal, goal. Goal. I actually don't care. <laughs> Yeah, no, for sure, for sure. Now I'm definitely a Pisces. I'm a Pisces, surprisingly. Real, 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 real. Yeah, I'm a Pisces. Shout out Pisces. Pisces. By the way, <laughs> you were so mad that I'm not Capricorn. You're like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, shout out Pisces. Though. I'm mad respect for Pisces. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, got you, got you. But yeah, it's just been that man or do I like yeah. being able to see things and then wanting for it to be tangible because. Prior to like Makundai, I was a wardrobe stylist. I still am a wardrobe stylist. Jesus Christ. 
Ajá. Research, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. Because honestly speaking, I feel as if like um I can see your stylist just generally through your pattern of work. It's not even like it's not even just like I don't know, man, like because I think stylists just like also like view things and they have to view things differently because mm -hmm. what about sure. perception? You know what I'm saying? Sure. Perception is like perception is you can't discount perception you get what i'm saying like whether you want to be sadistic and have like a very like i don't know a watch ugly vibe but like go like whatnot yeah like, a balance yeah but like you know what I'm saying? or if you want to have like a, a more like clean like you know what i'm saying like more mm -hmm. perspective still at the key of it so like I, you know so i also see codes of your styling through my and i think that's cool more than anything because you know yeah, yeah. It's, it's good to Thank see you guys hand in like everything which they do correlation yeah. yeah dude like it's you know what i'm saying yeah. um so it's actually cool to to um hear more about that so i mm -hmm. i actually so now the question um so what then inspires you i i think like a lot a lot of it like it's 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 and i think now let's speak more to like the actual design so the silhouettes mm -hmm. And like this mm. decisions for like materials, like the fabrics, mm. and everything, like even mm. like how you shoot the stuff, like it's got a it's got a tint mm. to it, got a visual vibe to it. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, collaborators as well. You know what I'm saying? Who you when you work on with on projects with people like um like talk to me more about it, like that like. I think yeah. the manifestation, but you, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, when when I'm about to like execute a project, it's something that is usually you're probably seeing something that has been on the works for like six months, like as an mm. audience. Mm. So it takes like a while for me. Like I have to like develop it, um, consult with like friends, um, consult with like my fellow like production manager or astro like yeah. really sit and let it simmer and make sure that this is something that we want to do yeah and then usually i first the idea comes but developing the process of developing the idea is not entirely up to me so like yeah these people the chat with like my first go-to person would be your astro um, Yo, shout out Astro. You keep on shout out Astro. 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 So I can tell Astro is important to the whole, the whole scheme of yeah, shout no. out Astro. Yeah. Astro is the old saver. Like, we're going to have a culture old saver. Like, yeah, no, I get saver. that. It's like, it's, we need those people. We need those people. So I'm saying shout out Astro. For sure. <laughs> For sure. Yeah, no. Like, beautiful. And then we, like, try to, like, develop the idea while not, like, we don't completely, we make sure that we don't lose it. You know, so I try to when I'm when I'm curating a project, I try not to let too many people onto it. So yeah. like it would be me and Astro, like not too many people knowing about too many it. chefs. Not you know what I'm saying? What they yeah, yeah. <laughs> too many chefs can do. It can't work like that. Too many yeah, no, it can't thing. work like that. Yeah, yeah. So we we'll then like take it from there, really like mature it and make sure that this is something that we want to do. But then we like know like who do we want to shoot this who do we want to model this um how do we want it to look and then get with us we got to me so who's like the yeah. photographer we came with something that's like a do project document that is very clear yeah that is very that is very clear so that she can understand is this what she would like to shoot so that we can also get the result that we were uh, trying to go for i see so, so when you get to to Unondu me, so shout out Nondu yeah. as well. Yeah. So, yeah. so when you get to her, you already have that the, you have the thing laid out. So you already know what colors you want to see. You already know like then it's just push what and just for you to insert my yeah. literally like we just need her like her eye, you know. I and Nondu is also a very good her. Huh? So with most of the photographers that I work with, like, yo guys, it's so dope. Like people I work yeah. with are really dope. Yeah. We have like framing, usually like I'll, in the project document, I share like framing. How do I want the framing? How do I want the headshots to look? And yeah. most of the 
then mm-hmm. most of the time it will just exceed even what we had in the mood board like I that's kid you not that's one thing i've noticed about Topo though like i would mm-hmm. like even like you mentioned like you know, mm-hmm. so like her work has got like a cinematography tint to it mm-hmm. so like and it's like it's like it's, i don't know man in johannesburg in general it's like there's people always want to do more than like what you mm. ask you know you give them a brief but then it's like yo like how can i take the brief and like take it like to the next you know because they're also you thinking know? about their also personal thing because they're also doing something yeah, yeah. so yeah. it's important we all show the best of each other yeah? yeah i think that's what's really important like I'm trying to really like instill in myself that that's really like the core like role your creative director like with your photographers like if I'm going to say I want to work with you that means I trust you I trust uh-huh. what you can do and I trust like I'm not going to be on set like oh like can at the back of the photographer like I'm just there trying to sort out outfits mm-hmm. and then at the end of the set or like even maybe during the set, yeah, and I've got a like like oh, it's okay, mm-hmm. like this is how it's looking right now, mm-hmm. just to confirm, just so that we are on the same page, and then from mm-hmm. there it's back to set, and then yeah, I just try to let people do their thing. Like if I assign you to a third, I let people do their jobs, you know. If you trust them enough to bring them on set, you've got to let them do their yeah. job. Yeah, like let them do their job. Like don't yeah. try to. So yeah, that's just it, and then. Yeah, usually I've learned that also when I try to like, I wouldn't say ma- macro manage, but like yeah. when I try to like make sure that it's going the way that I want it to in terms of like, okay, can we like see what are we working with? It usually like it puts the photographer like in a very like tight position. I get and, that though. Because now they're just trying to do what you want. And now they're just too. trying to do what you want. They're not. So like, I think it's really important as creative director, like, Sign it, delegate to people, and then let people do their thing. Yeah, actually. yeah, and they can get awkward very quickly. Like you know what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, sure. <laughs> sure. Like yeah, so I also prefer sure. people's space to breathe, man. Like let them like I don't no. know, make a few, let them make a few mistakes. Like the first few shots, yeah, now you know, yeah. like mess it a bit. You Eventually, know? like when they've got something which is like good they'll definitely come to you and be like yo like you know what i'm saying like is this the vibe you know know? is this what we're going for exactly watching them from the beginning like this like it's 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 um, not gonna work that's why it's important to also like when you're on set like now we try to you could be the creative director but try to be the creative director that has also a task on set so like I'm a wardrobe stylist. When one says yeah. I'm a wardrobe stylist, I don't yeah. stick to what I need to do as a wardrobe stylist. Like, yeah. try to now we have allocated task now so that you're not in people's businesses like that. I feel you. I feel you. Yeah. Uh, then the clothes, like the, 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 the garments, like what inspires mm-hmm. like your silhouettes? Like, more than mm-hmm. anything, I can maybe speak more to the items which you you are part of like the, the new collection. Mm-hmm. Like, and also, mm-hmm. I'd love to hear, like, okay, cool. Like, what was the thinking behind, like, that? Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, because you, I like how, like, it's distinguishable, you know? Everybody loves saying things like, mm-hmm. it's unique, it's unique. Sometimes, some guys, <laughs> you know, in something not being so unique, hey, because it belongs to a family yeah. which existed already. So it's a continuation, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, like, I'd love to hear, like, mm-hmm. According to you, like in, in terms of like the looks and stuff, like what were mm. you thinking? What inspired them? Like what materials did you go for? Like fabrics, uh, et cetera, et cetera, mm. and stuff like that. So like I'm really inspired by like clothes that have that fit perfectly. Like really like moving at yes, man. Like yeah. this is this is it. Yeah. The perfect silhouette. Um you know, give people like you need to feel really good wearing yeah, what you, like what you made them, you know, mm-hmm. and very, you know, like free, they must feel like every time they could be having the worst day, but if they're rocking that, they yeah. like better, you will not even see, it, you know, be so happy. that's what really inspires, yeah, that's what really inspires like the silhouettes and like the type of fits, 
um, and also just being looking comfortable, but still looking like very, very good, you know, comfortable, mm-hmm. but still very like elegant and like proper with the silhouettes. And, and your color palette? So for this collection, we have, um, maybe I'm autistic. Maybe it's the autism and the ADHD <laughs> with like not wanting too many color. <laughs> but I really thrive in, I love color. But if it's going to be color, it needs to be like pastel. Like it needs to be a pastel <laughs> yellow. Um, <laughs> it can't be to the nose. But I'm um, like, I really love good color. And I do love print also. Like what the hat that you're rocking, yeah. I love it. But it needs to be intentional that this is print. Like I let's not be busy. I get so what you're I, I really, I, I love that. Like just color. Um, yeah, in the two man, like an item in it, in it, dignity a bit. Yeah. So yeah, I feel like that. And then in terms of like fabrics that we've used, we have like corduroy, we have gingham, we have denim, we have like canvas. Um, yeah. So like, it's mostly like if you look at South African sitcoms now, back in two thousand, yeah. your school is nice. Your love that. He, um, big stuff. What family bonds and like all of those yo, really cool stuff. Yo, like, family bonds. Right I used to be, I don't think that's why I saw so much corduroy. Hey, like yeah. I had a bond in my life, but uh, in corduroy, like <laughs> you wanna be because like yeah. I have an obsession, Loki, with my favorite items of yours are the corduroy items. By the way, oh. like yeah, yeah for real, but like like. Of course, so like I think even those show, it's got mm. such an attachment towards corduroy, like at, it's mm. like an interesting something about it. Something about it. it. Be, yeah. I love it the attention, by the way. I didn't even remember them, like, but oh. I mean I remember I remember City Says that. Um, oh yeah. City yeah, yeah, Sensla, yeah. I remember City but City oh. Sensla, Yeah, Uvelabi, I remember that definitely. Yeah. Yes. MZ and Cizwa. Yeah, you my dad love that one. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. For sure. So like, yeah, it's stuff, yeah. taken from all of those because it's what I grew up watching. Yeah. Um, and it was entertaining. And those people were like really cool. You know, they had like they character. Were. I mean, you still think about Ustumo from like they, they did facts. what they Big had facts. to do in terms of that. So like mm-hmm. textures, I'm really inspired by that time in life. And yeah. If you go strong, like a estates for like sitcoms, if you look at like my wife and kids, yeah, um, you know, like I really like that's my source. <laughs> I was that's about, where, like, I don't know, like even engaging with your stuff. I was gonna say, like, like you've got a very like. Now I'm talking about your silhouettes. Now, now I'm talking about like when I look at the stuff, like it's it's got a very like if you've, you've got a very um. I don't just see it here. You get what I'm saying? Like I, I see it, I see it like like um it's got an international vibe to it if that bit basically makes sense. So sure. and that's the thing, it's like it's like you're able to communicate so, the your the identity so well through the silhouettes. It's like it, mm-hmm. it 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 I wouldn't be surprised, for example, like if it does get to a point where like you are having a connection in like New York, because mm-hmm. like I, I would understand why somebody from the outside would want your items. Yeah, because like, it's like you you have a way of like being able to relate towards like your experience as Mbomiyama, like as especially mm-hmm. like as Tosa, as queer, like as young and mm-hmm. joke, you're able to express that through silhouettes. And yeah. I've noticed sure. The customer's more intelligent now, you know what I'm saying? So, like, when they also <laughs> buy people's things, like, they're like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, this is Johannesburg. Okay. So, and they pick that stuff up. So, yeah. Um, yeah. And I'm I'm saying that thinking about the new collection, like, in, like the stuff that mm. I post. Mm-hmm. Like, what, what, what did you see? <laughs> what did you see? <laughs> I thought... Amy Leon Door New Balance like esque like oh, and I was thinking about when I saw the when I saw the photography like when I saw like the the stuff roll out and the stuff normal mm-hmm. shots stuff like I kind of got like that vibe. 
I like the fact that you go with like these saturated colors. Um, mm-hmm. It's like it's like the the maroonish backdrop, for example. Um, mm. Stuff like that. Like, I think that looks good in Torio for like black skin. Mm. I think black people look better yeah. like in that. I've seen like Wanda <laughs> also goes, Wanda tends to also go for like that vibe. Um, yeah. I like, I like it. Styling is no, always, I mean, if it's you, honestly, like the styling is it's it's particular. So like, I, I, I like how particular you are about like the, it's like it's like you you accentuate you pick me you you view clothes as a way to pick people up in terms mm. of like, even the spirit. Yeah. So like I, no. I I get why the silhouettes like are even like how they are. Um, no, and I think like that you say it. Yeah, for real, for real. So like I think that's yeah. the kind of things I think about. Um, no. Cool. Oh, you're so also like so observant. Like I was like, Jesus oh, like Christ. You, I'm like two <laughs> times. I hate that about myself to certain extent sometimes. Yeah. Like, like I can't interview somebody who I'm not interested in because like is a one yeah. because like <laughs> I haven't done this this foresight isn't there because at the end I'm yeah. like, I so, was it. Yeah, when I'm interested though, and like, I see it. So like when you mention mm-hmm. Also, your collaborators, they make a lot of sense. Like, I no, I, I, get it. Like, I get it. Like, you know? Um, no, everybody was like, in, it was so intentional with each and every. Like, make like, sense. You know, compared to like, yo, it's been like very, very intentional. It yo, uh, I can like, fathom. Yeah.